Hi, my name is Peggy Knight. I've been working with women with medical hair loss for over three decades. Today, I would like to talk about topettes. What I want to find out, first of all, is it appropriate for you? Do you need a topette or do you need a full wig? So I'm going to go into some of the questions I ask my clients when I meet with them. Most of my clients with androgenetic hair loss, what is that? It's the female version of male pattern hair loss, generally right around here on the head. You'll find your part starts to separate and get wider. You'll find that your crown, you can see right through it when you're standing in the sun. And sometimes people actually have a recession in their forehead and their bangs just go away. That person is a candidate for a topette. Usually you'll find a normal growth of hair back here, normal thick growth of hair back here. So let me talk about two different types of topettes. And the question is, is it for you? So this is one version. And you'll notice the inside is completely made out of a very light lace. The hair is knotted into that lace very thin. The density is not thick. You do not want thick hair. It will look wiggy and it'll look very, very unnatural. Plus, it'll be very heavy on your head. So just go ahead and look at it. You can see right through it. This hair piece, Topette, has a series of clips and all the way around. These clips clip into your remaining hair on your head. There are six clips and they're very gently clipped to your own hair. I'm going to put this one on. This is not styled. All of our hair pieces need to be styled, but I'm going to put this on. I've chosen my own color. I just want you to see how it blends in and how natural it looks. Very simple. I'm going to open up two of the clips. I'm going to put them on. I'm going to use my own bangs. I'm going to dig the snap, dig the clips in, snap them shut. There we go. I've got two clips on. Look at that. I mean, you can't even tell, even without styling, there it is. Now this will, of course, need a little tweaking. You can see it's a little in my face and it would take not very long by a stylist to kind of blend it into your own hair. But you can't tell. It's not thick. It's not unnatural. Just look at the back and how it moves. This is always the big problem right here. And I know so many of you are dealing with this, especially in the wind, when you're taking your children out, you're going to a soccer game. Other thing that's so fabulous about these top bets is you can wear your hair in a pony, a high pony, because your own hair is in the bottom. You wear it up, you pull it up. It's so natural, nobody would ever know. So this is one type of top bet. I'm going to release the clips. Very simple to do, by the way. You don't need any help from anybody. Just unclip, take it off. I'm gonna run a brush through my own hair so I don't look like Bushwoman. And now I'm gonna show you a different type of top hat. This is another level. This is, has a little different front hairline and a different part line. This is called our French part. This piece, every hair is inserted into a scalp-like, it's a silk-like scalp. Hair goes in and it looks, look how natural this is. So beautiful. I'm going to try this one on. Now, I've intentionally chosen the wrong color because I want you to see the way it blends into my hair. So once again, I'm going to take one of these clips right in the front. We'll just take the very front one, unsnap it. Again, I think I'll use my bangs. Snap it shut, you heard that? <laughs> Just snap shut on its own. Now I'm going to begin the process of blending it into my hair. Of course, you know it needs to be styled, but can you see how natural this is? It's not big, it's not bushy. It just looks like your own hair. And if you get up close, you can see where my part starts and it immediately goes in and blends right into the French part and it's seamless. You can't tell the difference. And I know how important this is to many of you. So now that we've determined that you are a 
candidate for a top hat and that you don't want to go with a full wig because you have enough hair around the back and the sides, then we have to decide which one you want. So the insides are a little bit different. One is all lace. The French part is lace, but it's lined with this beautiful uh, silk-like material. And they also come in different sizes. They come in small, they come in medium, excuse me, mediums and larges. And how is that determined? It's determined by this measurement and this measurement. So the larger the area of loss, the larger the base. The next thing that we determine is the length. What length do you want? Most of my clients have very long, beautiful hair. They're just thinning up here, so they want the longest length possible. And that's when I recommend we go into the 14 inch hair piece. That's this one. I tried it on for you. You can see how long it is. And when it blends in with their own hair, it's absolutely undetectable. You can't see where their hair begins and where their top hat be, uh, merges into it. It's very, very natural looking. So we do, and it can go anywhere from 6, 8, 10, and 14 inches in length. This one happens to be a 10 inch length. If you wear your hair shorter and you have a little bob, this is an adorable hair piece. It's up to you, it's what's right for you. So now that we've determined the length of hair and the size of the cap and also the type of cap, now we have to go into color. So Folia has 14 beautiful colors. I love every one of them. And what we do is we match your color as close as possible. We also have to take into consideration that you may color your own hair, that you may have gray hair. So it takes a little tweaking back and forth to come up with what would be your normal hair if you were growing it and what color do you want your top hat to be. Of course we want them to blend. So we get the color as close as possible. Now, once you get your, your top at, you may have to color some of your hair, but it won't be an overall color. You may have to color your bangs or this little area on the side, but you don't have to do that overall color that you're doing right now. And you know how that is. It's not only is it time consuming and expensive, but it's hard on your hair, fragile hair to begin with. So you pick it out, we order it, it comes in. Now the next step, what do you do? You go to the salon. Now this is my favorite part. I go to the salon with all my clients and we make sure that everything is okay, that it fits properly. I always give a little tutorial on how to use the clips and how to open and shut them. And I let my client do it themselves because obviously I'm not gonna be there every day to do their hair. And I teach them how to go in, grab their own hair, snap it shut, make sure it's even both front to back and side to side and then the stylist comes in and she begins the process of cutting. Most of the time the cutting is just a matter of blending the front into your own front. For example, I'll put mine back on again. This time you can see this hair doesn't match. So she would then come in and she would clip this and trim it. They kind of do like a feather cut. Slither, that's it, it's a slither cut. I love those names. And it just slithers right into my own hairstyle. And then this side, she'd do the same. She'd wanna get rid of all this extra bulk right here. Nothing back here, we're not touching the hair back here. We might trim up the bottom a little bit. At this point, it's important to tell the stylist, we'll ask her, or tell her, we'll, um, I will be wearing my hair in a ponytail. I work out in the gym and I want to wear my hair up. So we make sure that she has created a style that's going to grab in your ponytail. I use a banana clip instead of a ponytail, it's just easier for me. But we make sure that she knows that. We, we give her an idea of our lifestyle. We're gonna let her know how often you're wearing it. Are you wearing it every single day? Do you wear it? bed and I hope the answer to that is no but if you do we have to know that when we're cutting it and we also have to take into consideration that there will be changes in hair color your hair will get grayer or it will not <laughs> depending on your age but the hair piece is going to get lighter it just does it's natural it's oxidation it's what happens so you have to know that. You go back maybe nine months later, you say to the stylist, hey, look it, I'm noticing that my hair is getting a little blonde up here. What's, what's, what's up? 
and she'll say, oh, that's a normal process. Let's deposit some color and blend it into your own hair. Please don't do any coloring on your own. You will destroy your hair. Let the professional folia trained hairstylist do the coloring for you. So now you've had your hair piece styled and you're walking in the wind and you love it and you've been wearing it for a week or so and you find, ooh, I have to wash my own hair. Oh yes, well, everybody has to wash their own hair. But we've got a little bit of a different technique. First of all, this tool, I love this tool. Folia sells this mannequin head and it's weighted, so it's heavy. It's not like a styrofoam one that flops over all the time. It's really a great tool. So you take your piece. The first thing you want to do is you want to brush all the tangles out because remember you've been walking in the wind, taking a hike, going to the gym and it's and it might be tangled. You're going to wash it. Shampoo, conditioner. I have a great DVD and you should watch it and watch in detail how to wash it. Take this when it's damp, rinsed, you put it on the head and you can name your head by the way. Mine's Mary. So Mary and I are friends, so I take it as, as it's damp, I just brush through it. And what I do with my top hat is I let it air dry. Why? Because it looks more natural. It is silkier. It is pretty when it's after it's dried. And then you put it on your head and then you can use your tools. You can use your flat iron or you can use your curling iron. I do caution you, don't use too many hot tools on your hair. You can blow dry it if you want. It's going to dry it out a little bit. So let it naturally air dry. Look at this. Can you believe it? Look at this beautiful scalp. When it dries, it's going to look just like this. Going to blend into your own hair and as long as you're keeping your colors uniform and as long as you're clipping this on properly, not too far back, not too far forward, as long as you're washing it on a weekly basis, you're going to have beautiful hair. So the top hat, I love it and I think if you have thinning hair, you want to explore the top hat. Let me know. I have sales reps around the country and they're just waiting to hear from you.